What's good, YouTube? It's Jay here, and um, I was doing some unit build up and kind of just decided to sit here and uh, you know, watch the galaxy kind of unfold a little bit as I did said unit build up. And uh, this is this is happening right now because yeah, the, the, the greater Maljud are just legitimately pushing into the Pentastar alignment. Um, I guess to expand on what territories they've lost over the last couple of the last couple of episodes um yeah I, I don't know man but uh we're gonna start taking advantage of this and getting the positions to destroy what's left of the imperial factions over here including the warlord zinge himself uh we're gonna go ahead oh wait what wait what oh uh huh i took too long <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. I, um, wow. I, I took too long, apparently. Uh, I, well, that's awkward. I, 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 I I'm so lost right now. It's not even funny. Uh, in order to progress the car six months elapsed, I I totally forgot about the fact that if you wait 60 weeks, it, it, they just people just go away. So wait, who do we got now? We've got um Admiral Jera Jeratai. Um Okay, so he's a loser. Gotcha. Is this Paleo? No, this is Red Wessel. Well, this is gonna make this is gonna be hard to write for the intros. Um, actually, no, it won't because I can actually stick to the lore. <laughs> All right, well, that's um mega anticlimactic because I know they still have that Sovereign class running around. I, dude, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I, I didn't realize that much time had passed already. Apparently we're just that we're that deep in we 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 wow that's actually very funny perfectly honest all right cool well I've been trying to find new planets to uh put trade stations on top of I'm gonna see how much if it neuters our income no it doesn't okay so what's a planet that we can build a trade station on of course all right. even with our massive fleet kind of just nestled around over there um, what other Imperial heroes could there even be at this point? Yeah, they got the Sovereign class floating around. Never got to see the Eclipse, which kind of sucks. Um, well, I guess we can invest into the new class fleet project? Question mark. We'll start off by building some of the lighter vessels. <laughs> oh man, it's unfortunate. So wait, we didn't get to see World Devastators. Damn, that's actually unfortunate. Wow. All right, cool. I mean, not cool, but cool. The Greater Maldrud are becoming the biggest Imperial threat at this point next to, um, no, just, just the Greater Maldrud, to be perfectly honest. I don't know how we get to the next era of tech and I don't, I, please, for the love of God, don't give me any spoilers in the, in the, in the comment section below. Um, effect, uh, plus four influence on players, influence units, Ryloth, Haves, Mandalore. Uh, okay, so right now we've got our boy, uh, Jensar Sobiles, who's the chief of state right now, uh, currently. Um, he's in charge. I'm, I'm so conflicted right now, like, what the heck do we actually do? Curvanti. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. This is some cool stuff, I guess. Yeah, we don't have any new build options for any new ships or anything. We are in the next era. We are in the official era of the technically the Jedi should be reborn type era. Let's do a little bit of scouting about. Just see what we got out here, I guess. There's a secular fleet over here at Liana, which honestly, 
90 Star Cruiser reporting. Hmm. Cruiser reporting. We need we need another fleet over here because these this this little fleet over here is not really gonna. Damn, this is so that that was just so unexpected. Perfectly honest. Okay, I want to start off with taking over the L root sector. Get rid of that because it's been back here for literally the longest. Same with um, now Huda and all of these other like little sub worlds over here. We have a lot of ships here. And to be perfectly honest, if we were to get attacked at Bill Bringy, I think we would be perfectly, we'd be fine, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna move the Lusankia Lusankaya over here. Back it up with a couple of um, MC90s. And uh, let's see. Okay, so we got our defender carrier. We got our majestic and defender carriers, respectively. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys were looking forward to, to, to some final confrontation with Palpatine, because that feel, that's a little that's a little awkward, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, I don't even know if they were in the production of any specialized units or anything really. Jameis. my by the my God, the the, the Raider Maldrud. All right, well, we could probably move up on Karita. We got we got a variety of different planets to attack, including the Apes Cluster, which is to be perfectly honest, what we might use the Lucikaya for. He's got a long vector to convene on though. It's, it's all around the galaxy, literally. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess as our first official act of the new era of no more Palpatine forever and ever. Um, what is this fleet you are gathering, my my guy? I guess we can start really making our pushes over here. Where's the where's our dreadnought at? Well, okay, yeah. So we're gonna still continue with our goals for the Elder Root sector. Okay, I guess the greater I guess the greater mountain just owned the the, the the over sector outer. Um Okay. Do we have any infantry units? Because now I look at it, we don't have any soldiers over here. Like actual foot troops. Iriadu, Lova. Really make wow. Okay, there we go. I need to get some of these guys off these backwater worlds, dude. Like Let's get you guys off of Hoth. Even if it's just a regroup in a cluster or like it, it, just just to get them away from over here. Okay. Bezbin is kind of debatable. You guys go join the main forces in the core. You don't deserve to be just sitting back there in the corner. Usanki is almost here. We've got a few new ships in the of the um, fleet project in production. There we go. Okay. And I, I guess we are in position to start our advance. We'll, we'll make some, we'll put some additional ships here. Um, am I dumb? I literally just say, hey, do I have any more troops? And I moved like all of those units. There we go. Sashin Cruiser reporting. Okay. This fleet's ready to go to the Eldrude Cluster. Take care of this. So for, for the last eight minutes, what exactly did we accomplish? Not really a whole lot aside from just watching um, Palpatine die in the comic books. <laughs> All right. I realize I have 20, 20 quasars in this league. What is wrong with me? With all speed. Sir. This is a little overkill. Sir. Are you gonna call in all these? You're damn right we are. Roger, setting course, sir. Moving the same grid coordinates, sir. On my way. Well, we're not gonna call them all in. We're gonna call them most of the liberators. Now, or a good chunk of the liberators. Roger, setting course, sir. Moving in those coordinates, sir. Moving. Moving there now. All right, this is a little too much. <laughs> we're gonna keep it going, though. Moving the same grid coordinates, sir. There we go. Okay, all starfighters, go ahead and do your thing. You guys sit back. All right, you two take on that one. You take on this guy. All other units, um, get in there. 
Star Destroyer reporting in. Try not to try let one let one your, your order, sir. All right, all of you guys are just gonna get out of Dodge. Yes, Commander. Three, two, full MC-90 Star Cruiser reporting. Sheesh. All right, yeah, we need to we need to take out some of the shields in this quickly. Get the engines on that. Let's take that out really quick as well. You guys, kind of break off. The engines are gone on this MC90. All right, yeah, we need we need to focus fire over here a little bit now. I think this fleet, this force over here is good to go. Let's get you out of dodge. Yeah, repair ships, get over here ASAP. We're, we're starting to lose our we're starting to lose our holdings over here. I won't let you die, Patriot. I think the Patriot has been lost. There we go. That's it, everybody. Save the Patriot. Good job. Okay. Oh, we don't have a space station to take on either. So, um, do these have triple lasers? Point defense octet. Okay. I guess that means something. These are regular Sachin and our um, Magin or Hajin. But cool, we kept the we kept our the Patriot alive. Nice. Nice. Reporting. Reporting. They are making waves, man. My God. You know they've become way too powerful. We, we've got to take them out. Okay, let's make this battle on Elderwood quick. I don't think they have any base here. They don't have a real base here either. I think the hero units in space are the major threat. All right. Yes, Commander. Choose your reinforcements. Underway. Right away, sir. Let's call in all of our T3s or T4s really quick. The fast forward. Uh, all of you get over here. Pretty certain there's a sensor dish over here as well. TX-130 Saber Tanks. Let's secure this. Alright, you guys go around over here. Yeah, now we're gonna make this as quick as possible. There we go. Yeah, keep it pushing. Awaiting orders. Aha! Yeah, I don't think they have a true base. We'll see in a minute, though. Yeah, they don't. Oof. Alright, I guess we'll just take the last of these guys out. <laughs> He's just cornered. Is that it? Uh. Heading out. Do we have to destroy everything? I'm confused. Ready for duty. Gold Squadron commencing attack. Target locked. Available. What right in the world is going on right now? Reporting. Keep going. Oh, what the hell? This way. 
Dude, I, I was like, wait, did the, did the map break? <laughs> All right. Cool. And that's the fall of the Elrod, Elrod, whatever closer. I'm going to take this group of troops and move them over here to Kessel. And then this fleet is going to go over here because we need that. We need that uh, buffer ship. I need that to be a buffer ship. I'm really hoping that the Pentastar Lime is able to kick these guys out of here. But they got the vehicles to do so. They have never, they haven't built Praetors at all, which is kind of freaky. If we're going to be completely honest. Uh, what else have we not built for this? Keep building more of these. Public Star Destroyers. Um... Yeah, but that's it for the Elru cluster. This place is fully under control of the Republic now, which is good. Build a couple of those. Um, let's see. Yeah, we, we got plenty of money. Money ain't an issue whatsoever. I'm gonna put a goal in three here so we can actually get construction going for um, the bigger Mon Calamari cruisers. Uh, so we need to kill Carner Jax. Carner, uh, Carner Jax. Let's see what we can do. We don't have a ton of troops to spare over here. Let's get over here to the Sucha. Hey, man. Is that an interdictor? I can't tell if that's an interdictor. It, it like has the, the body of an interdictor, but I don't know if it's like actually one. Wow, that's that's a purple planet. Sheesh. Okay, so wait, where is this unit at? Okay, so this is actually the interdictor. It directly succeeded the limiter. Interesting. Okay, so it's it is, but it isn't the ship. Uh, I guess it's just a different variant. Oh well, it'll die in a holy flame of a blaze of glory anyway. I'm surprised this ship doesn't have like a specialty squadron like Wraith or Rogue Squadron or, or something, you know? Or Rogue Wing, because if I remember correctly, once Wedge, like, I'm pretty certain like Wedge made something just straight up called Rogue Wing, which was bigger than obviously just Rogue Squadron. Ready and willing. Hold on. Focus fire on their weapons. I don't even have to command it to do anything. It literally just, Super it'll shoot at everything itself. Ready. Star Cruiser reporting. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, We're just blowing these guys away. <laughs> Easy. All right, so we're going to rush to kill Cardinal Jacks a little bit faster this time. Because I forgot that Palpatine just can die. Or that heroes can just progress like that. It's also weird to think that, based off of some of what we've seen in modern Star Wars media, uh, shield generators aren't just skin tight like they've normally been predict like um, perceived as in regular lore. Like they're actually like like bubbles, I guess, of sorts. Nice. Pretty soon this is fire I'm like a. Yeah, a bunch of proton torpedoes and whatnot. All right. Cool. I guess we could just go ahead and finish the rest of these guys off, honestly. Uh, we're going to now head to next. 
tactical battle. They have an even more pathetic fleet, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, you poor fools. Not a reason was Jewel Huddy's, uh, the planet was once Yeah, this planet sucks. If you had any planet to choose in Star Wars Galaxy to not be in, this is probably one of them. Choose your reinforcements. <laughs> I love jumping this thing out of hyperspace, man. So satisfying. That's it, just obliterate the ball. Apparently there's like a Clone Wars sub mod for this mod that somebody's made. And I respect it, you know, I respect that people like Clone Wars, but man, I, I just don't think it's a necessity to have Venators and Providences be buildable by every faction in every era, every time you control coup, it like, just seems so goofy, you know? We've got Clone Wars mods for a reason. We've got Fall of the Republic literally for that reason. You know, I, I just don't think it's necessary to make a sub Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars mod every every time a mod comes out. Because the Clone Wars are great, but... I just don't think it's that. I just personally don't think it's necessary. Alright, focus all your fire on that poor Marauder Cruiser. I do love that certain guns will just keep shooting at certain other ships, like no matter what you target, because they all just can't reach that same unit. Alright. Now that we've got the means to basically engage massive fleets like this with minimal casualties, you know, it's great. And honestly, I want to thank you guys again for really supporting this channel. It's like, life can be stressful sometimes and all of you really make me happy. All the support you give me, all of it really. like. I am at my happiest making content for you, and I'm happy even outside of that, but still, it's like... I appreciate everybody that supports this channel and just does whatever for me, I really do. But, let's crush our enemies, enough sentimental bullshittery. Sheesh. Oh, I was just about to take a screenshot, too. Ah, oh, well. Sheesh, what a monster. Yeah, we just, we just, just on a victory lap right now. <laughs> what is this? Oh yeah, the fleet's going to be circling around over here. Tactical battle All right. Yep, we're just going to clean up the last of these little separate, smaller worlds. Enemy forces ahead. It'd be kind of cool if we got a, oh, what the hell? Super what? Destroyer How does that happen? Yes, my lord. No, 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 no. Will. What the hell? All head full. Super Star Destroyer. All right. All sections. Are sure. Be of service. Super Star Destroyer ready. All sections at your command, my lord. Super Star Destroyer ready. Uh. Uh. Alright, well, just blow them all out of the water. Don't really matter, honestly. It's a shame. We, don't, we didn't really get a chance to really take a good look at the uh, Kandala B. I guess we can now, as we mercilessly murder our enemies. Let's see if I can get some good Starfighter screenshots. We rarely ever get any of those. <laughs> and there it goes. That's it, everybody. Rip them apart. I can guarantee on this ship, at least, on the, on the thank you, that at least one person has a person that's been enslaved by the huts. Engaging the enemy. 
<laughs> we have so much firepower. Alright. This should be the last cruiser. Yeah, I think this is it. I think. What's left? Oh, is it the Kazadis? Oof. Yep, okay, it's just the Kazadis. Those aren't starfighters, those are actual um, transports of sorts. Looks like you guys get to live to fight another day. And uh, in the in the span of about five minutes, we, we cleared up this entire sector. Cool. Great. Perfect. Uh, now the question is this, do we keep investing? Yeah, we do. We're gonna just keep investing heavily into the... Um, Actually, we'll save our money and build a brand new Viscount. We're also going to eventually start our pushes over here. Yeah, these guys are getting their butts kicked right now, man. Feels bad. And we do have a new fleet class ship, so we can actually give a test run with. Maybe we'll give them a go in the Hapen cluster. Yeah, we'll probably pair them with, uh... Take pair them with the ships that we've got over here at Roche. But other than that, we're gonna save up our credits pretty much. Invest into the brand new super capital ship that we can build. We have enough? Oh! Oh! Oh, cool! Alright, cool! Okay, there are ground structures here. I guess the Sucha... It makes sense the Sucha wouldn't be too heavily fortified. It's technically a New Republic world. Of sorts. Well, more or less. We'll let the next credit cycle go through really quick so we can um start our uh, our things, our advancements. I may put a goal in two here because when this sector opens up, we are going to be in um, some hot water. Now the question is, where the hell is Carnor Jax? He's, oh, he's he's going to be a ground unit probably. Construction complete. I'm kind of, <clears throat> I'm a little sad um, we didn't really get to see more of the, uh, Roger. the uh, Dark Empire. I'm going to move Luke and Mara to Coruscant for now, I guess. No real reason. I'm going to put an Ion Cannon here. Uh, okay. And I guess we'll just do this now. Hey, <laughs> they've got an A6 Juggernaut. Need to eradicate all enemy forces to win. Oh, what the, this is an interesting landing zone. What is this? Cages? Kind of looks like Dathomir. A little bit. Right we should have more than enough to take care of what we need to here. I think A6 Juggernauts are super crushing. Or super crusher. So you gotta be careful. Uh, let's see. Is that a free runner? Oh no, those are those are skips. Skiffs. I thought that was a free runner for a hot second. When I tell you my confusion was real. Alright, let's get out of this little corridor right here, guys. We'll put up a um Okay, so it's just super transport. Nice. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot around us. That's it, chase him down. Um, oh, this is the A5. Targeting. All right, well, I guess we'll just go off somewhere. We can probably take over our landing zone. Uh, what do we got right here? New Republic troops, apparently. In. And a Rancor somewhere. You know what? I'm going to send you three over here. Back these guys up. The rest of you are going to head for the main base, which is here. 
That's a rancor. Okay, they don't attack us. Nice. Roger that. Clone Wars air attack just all over the place. No, that is a free runner. Yeah, I was right. Okay, there are armor free runners here. Well, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot here, so we can probably just fast forward a little bit. The heck? Like an old rebel base? Like, what is this? Ah, there it is. We got a sensor dish over there. Alright. And that's all she wrote. And uh, that's it. Cool. What all is around here? Ah, uh, uh, well, we won't see. Alright. That's another planet taken care of. Got one more left over here with now Hutta. At once. At once. This is already at 40. What the hell? Oh my goodness. We're going to have that ship done in a minute, dude. Fire Jacks, where are thou? What the hell are you? Oh, oh my god. There's so many arrows. Okay. <clears throat> Chef's Trooper Company, a company of Imperial. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Kuluta 5, the given leader of the ship builders and Astro Bank's abilities. Interesting. Prince Za, a defil prince, but Za is what the building controls Superman. Um. Okay. Mod Windcaller. Windcaller is the head of an extensive agency. <laughs> Those swords for the Empire. Okay. Lord of Manos, a devil only leader of a major Imperial Labor Guild. Lord Manos, supporter Carner. <laughs> I'm pretty certain this is Carner Jax. He's a Sith Lord. Interesting. Okay. And then. General Imeldet. <laughs> An elderly Imperial General, Imeldet supported Carter Jackson's sabotage of Emperor Palpatine's clothes and serves on his council. Okay, and he's in an A9 floating fortress. Noted. Don't want to mess with him. He's in a he's in a big boy ship. Ah. So for this lady, Aretta Bell, we're gonna send you over here with the new class ships. Where do we send the new class ships? We send them to Contra. <laughs> Okay. You know what? We'll support this this invasion force for Nahada with uh, some of the shoot units from um, Bothwui. Since we got them. You know what unit I have not built really? I have not built any of the Gallo-Free HTT wings. We'll build a couple of those, um, more tanks, more heavy vehicles, etc. I can't believe, I oh my God, it's almost done. Jeez Louise, dude. All right, let's take, oh, they have a floating fortress here. All right. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, the canyon of death. If the ALTR yes, taught me sir. anything, it's this canyon sucks. Right okay. Let's just get this out of the way, man. Alright, yeah, all units go for that. Okay. The only landing zone we got is the one up ahead. I like how the huts are like a brown color on their own home world. Who are they fighting? Themselves? Literally a hut civil war. Okay. Let's just keep it going. They do have an A9 floating fortress here. Let me turn my mic a little bit. Sorry if it's going to sound like I'm bumping into something, but I'm rotating my mic. It was kind of turned away from me. Roger that. Right away. 
Form up. Awaiting orders. Hey. That's a lot of units. Holy guacamole. Sheesh. Yeah, push back, push back, pull back, pull back. I repeat, pull back. Oh my lord. There we go. We're gonna sell this really quick. Move the rest of the infantry units over here. Uh, get you over here if possible. If possible. Sheesh. Let's focus on the fire on that fortress. Here we go. Okay, let's get you guys over here really quick. There we go. And let's just start, let's circle everybody around to get them all healed up and fixed and whatnot. Okay. There we go. Sheesh, keep it pushing, keep it going, keep it going. Almost there. Screw it, we're going in with a bombing run. Alright, all troops move forward. Let's get out, let's get in here. Yep, those guys are dead. Yep, everything's dead. That's not HUDA for you. That's not HUDA for you. Uh, all right, we'll call in one artillery unit. You'll use them for reconnaissance with his sensor drone, basically. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's not, let's not make any reckless pushes. Okay. All right, everybody else. Let's make the great push. There we go. Ah, uh, yep, that's it. <laughs> cool. All right, well, we have control of Nahuda now, and it should provide us with an extremely large amount of money, hopefully. That's the that's the goal, anyway. Kashyyyk is providing us a decent amount of income, but I mean, uh, what other worlds can we... I didn't have a space station on that planet. Um, what other worlds can we build these on? The suture looks like it could provide us with a decent amount of income. Maybe Mon does has to have one of these? Yeah. Unit in production. Okay, so that doesn't hurt our income greatly over there. Good. Cool. Well, I guess we have a star defender now. We only gotta build them to one. Yeah, we only get one. Alrighty, well we've got the equivalent of the Super Star Destroyer in Mon Kanamari form. We can use this to our advantage, really. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> We, we've got a lot of firepower right now. Uh, does Lusanki can almost activate or operate independently? Reporting. We are going to send additional reinforcements down here to Opera Gun Ray. Probably use Fondor to produce a few extra. Uh, never mind, those are. Uh, uh, yeah, we use Kuat to make our Republic Star Destroyers. Cause I want to help. I want to get Luke back to Jedi Academy. I want. I want to get Luke's Jedi Academy going on uh, Yavin. 
Uh, no reason to really build up additional structures on planets back here because it just hurts us financially. Now, HUD is the only one I would consider because it brings additional income. So that's probably the only one that's actually like legitimately worth it. Think we can build bigger? No, we can't. Okay. Well, that's fine. As for you, uh, Sir, Sir Mega Fish Tank, where are we gonna send you? Oh. Right away. Yep, I saw that happening. I knew it. Ooh, I'm. Not. I'm selling. The, I'm selling that interdictor. I, I'm not taking any chances. If I can steal a ship, I'm stealing it. If I can, I can't. <laughs> it's kind of cheap, honestly, to just uh, just send the, the the bigger fleet in as a reinforcement, as a reinforcement, pretty much. Uh, but what can you do? Like this Viscount prototype could take on a decent amount of this fleet by itself, probably. I take that back. That fleet's actually kind of chunky. Yeah, let's form, our, let's form ourselves a little bit of a defensive group around this uh, Golan. We'll hit their hero unit first. Okay. Yeah, all of you get behind it. Okay. All of you. I think we got pretty much every major unit in, in position. Those squads are uh, you by. just do whatever. I copy. Waiting orders. Copy. Yeah, over you guys there. move over here. Star Destroyer standing by. Awaiting instructions. You guys just kind of go over here, and I think Star that's going to work. Quasar reporting for duty, yes, sir. Commander. Choose your reinforcements. Awaiting orders. All right, lots of hydroids inbound. And yeah, they do have some of the modular task force cruisers. Oh, this is a good shot. Okay. Actually, yeah, you're gonna go over there. You're gonna go right here. And then we're gonna keep pouncing on that allegiance a little bit. Guys deal with the Starfighters. Bombers are cool, but... Actually... They got the right idea. Bombers start hitting the actual, like, ship ships. Everybody else, uh, do your thing. Okay, yeah, let's just set you to guard. I don't want to send them to hunt because I don't want them to start going towards, like... The nebula. Eh, I guess we can set him a hunt. Doesn't really matter. Boarding shuttle, get in position because we might have a free star destroyer just kind of on our wings right here. Yeah, no, this is good. Bombers start converging on that allegiance over there to the right or left. Okay. What ship do you want? All of you guys move forward. Okay. There we go. The Empire is going to lose their hills once again. This thing's shields are very quick to die. But it also could just be because of whatever buffs the hero unit has given them. This thing is dead. I tried. There we go. Nope. Back off. Actually, regroup over here. 
All right, we've got an entire Imperial fleet bearing their guns down on us. Let's start focusing on the actual like um, capital ships here. Wait, what? Wait, what? I thought I moved. Okay, sure. I. Wow. Okay. What's happening over here? Yeah, we've got a plethora of starfighters just kind of making their way over here. Hold on. Yeah, slow this thing down. Shoot its engines out. Yeah, we need we need help over here ASAP. Let's get the Corvettes and stuff over here. Yeah, aim for the engines. Come on, take them out. There we go. The Y wings are getting destroyed, dude. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, we might need to retract all of our bombers when they respawn and just keep them up here because they are actually getting crushed over here. There we go. We can start making our runs on that allegiance now. I think we're good. Corvettes, make a break for over here. For the Empire. There we go. That's another Star Destroyer destroyed. We're really gunning for the Viscount. All ships, focus your fire on that. That's it, just keep it moving. We'll cover you. Bombers start tearing this guy apart. Yeah, it's engines are gonna go. That's okay though, we'll keep it alive. <laughs> there go the engines on it. RIP. I'm gonna circle our uh, our hospital medical frigates, whatever you wanna call them around. Yeah, you won't get the same level of success with the true Viscount. I'll tell you that much. Corvettes, move over here to intercept, because I can kind of see how that's about to go in a minute if we're not careful. Yeah, the, 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 the remnant in the deep core have sacrificed what forces they had left to make a, a desperate push for Opera God Array. Feels bad, man. There we go. That's it. All right, let's start getting some concentrated assaults. Reporting in. Fire at will. I copy. The lasers are on that. I've got one on me. Frigate reporting. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Right away. Nebula B frigate here. Four mark. I've got one on me. Take out the iron. I've lost engine two. Our primary target is those iron panels. The lasers are our target. There we go. All right, Nebulons. Uh, I don't really like you getting close like that at all. Yeah, I think ships should. I think a lot of ships really need more engine hard points because I mean, this one lost. Oh wait, this this one does have more engine hard points. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just why? And I was about to say something that wasn't necessary though. Nice. All right. We lost a gunship, really? I guess we can leave the smaller fleet of Fondor because they'll have the reinforcements um, just there. From the uh, from the station. Okay, so what's our next goal? 
Send these troops in or inward. Back up the forces over there. Need something. Need something. Let's get a that going. Okay. So I think the next thing I want to do is invade the Hapes Cluster. Slowly start making our push towards them. Where's the Viscount? Oh my, they conquered Yaga? Really? Sheesh. Uh, where did I send the Viscount? Well, they just made our job, I'm not even kidding, like legitimately easier. I'm being completely honest. Let's move out. Yeah, once we, once we called the first early, um, like Pentastar alignment fleets, they just, they just fell apart. Let's see, uh... Wait, where the heck do we send the Viscount? Actually, when I answer to that question, like, where actually is this? Where is our ship? It's not in this group. It's... Yeah, where the hell did- where did I just send the Viscount? Did I send it up here? No. It's, it, it's definitely not at Mon Calamari. Did I send it to Akbar Sleep? No. Wait, was it in this ground troop? I checked that already. Oh, I sent it to Fondor. What the heck? Why did I send it here? Need something. More, I really wanted to send it up here. I don't know why I sent it right there. I'll send it to Ragov's fleet. Move to that location. Okay. As our final act for this particular episode, we've linked Need Wedge and then his... Um, portion of the third fleet. We, we just got a fleet at this point. Um, Zinch is right there. And my count's almost there. We'll let that arrive. This is chaos over here. Like, just ridiculous stuff is happening right now. I should probably send one of these super capital ships actually over there. Um, because to be perfectly honest, it's probably the better decision, realistically. So, once we unlock the mediator and stuff, I'm uh, dude, I'm about to go to town. I didn't want to, I didn't want to. So, the reason, like I said, I played so slow is I didn't want the let's play just to end so so quickly. Because to be frank, it's not hard just to slaughter half of these imperial factions, like, if you just use more than 2% of your brain power, like, you can do some unbelievable shenanigans to most of these factions, if not all of them. Um, so, I mean... Did it get here? Should be here now, right? Yep, okay, there it is. Okay, let's start off by sending the second fleet to Meridun. So, yeah. I don't know what we're going to call these fleets anymore. I'm going to send him Corward, like this group, and we're going to label like these like two groups, the fourth fleet, this, this, and the part led by Wedge, the third fleet. This is going to be a part of the second. This is part of the second. This is just the Katana fleet. This is going to be a part of the second. And 90% of the first is just going to be up here. And this part of the fleet is the first. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how we'll do it, right? Question mark. We've done a lot this episode, what the heck? I 
All right. I don't think we'll take over this planet this up. Jesus, that is bright. We're not gonna take this this planet over this episode, but um, definitely gonna do some shenanigans. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually kind of ridiculous. My oh my. Not even a real Star Destroyer. Look at this thing. The bounty. Like the, I almost said like the toilet paper, like um, the paper towel. I may have just killed that MCA to B, but we'll see. We got Defender Starfighters, let's go. Sheesh. I can't even zoom in properly to see this damn thing. They're coming around. Yes, Commander. No good. Taking the new part. Alright, focus all your fire, your primary fire on that Golan. We are fully Starfighter groups, move on up. This thing is just a, a monstrosity. <laughs> Got six engines of cannon, maybe more. There. Can you just get into this? Yeah, you can. Uh, the shields are almost at 50%. We should. We have nothing to be concerned about though. These guys need help. Just a little bit. Concentrate some fire on these patrol crafts, these IPV ones. There we go. This thing is manhandling three different space stations right now and a fleet. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> There we go. Like, look at this thing, man. Sheesh. It's just a little, it's, it's a fish tank. Like, how can you not take screenshots of this monstrosity? I found some good angles to work with here. Onward. <laughs> I don't even think it's can its guns reach that far out. Nah, they can't. Okay, doesn't really matter, I guess. Run, you cowards! Run. Okay. So yeah, we've got the raw firepower to do that now. All right, so let's just read the description of this. Envision is a counter from the many Super Star Destroyer Civil Imperial hands seen by Admiral Akbar as the greatest threat to the New Republic forces. The Viscount was the largest warship class ever constructed by the New Republic. Greater and more massive than an executor, superior Monclamari in engineering, enabled them to fit heavier armor and operate with substantially smaller crew than its progenitor, which I guess is a word for what it was designed on. It's hull, 100,000. What the hell? Its shields, 90,000. So let's take, a, let's take a comparison and look at the Lusakaya. Oh my god, it's actually got more health than both, in both categories. Probably less weapon though, Le bleh, less weaponry though, correct? 50 heavies, 50 mediums, 30 heavy dual, like quad. Uh, 40 heavies, 50 mediums. Okay, so I think this has more raw firepower. Whereas this is, it's just got more health. So I guess the two kind of work out. Um, I'm going to use one of these super capital ships in a battle with Zinge. Probably the Viscount, because you can, I think you can actually build a, you can actually build multiple. How many of these can you build? <laughs> you could build four. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, whatever. You can just, just build four of them. Hey, no matter argue. Um, okay, we got a lot of resources. Let's see if we can actually build. Yeah, so you just can't, you cannot build the home one types 
Um, anywhere but Moncala and Kuat, and probably probably Fondor. Yeah, you can put him at Fondor. Roche, I guess, just doesn't have the capacity to build those levels of capital ships, I suppose. No, Huda is granting us all <laughs> one thousand credits. That was a that was a smart maneuver putting um the station above it. Uh, let's see. What do we? What do we? What do we? We got a lot of ships, man. We we got fleets to move up here now. We got fleets to occupy multiple sectors right now. It's just, man. We 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 are just we are powerful <laughs> to say the least. We are absolutely a very powerful faction right now. Okay, I'm gonna continue construction on some new class ships and just a bunch of other things, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars and other gaming content and vlogs. As always, I will see you guys later. May the voice with you all have a great day. Peace.